Hello and welcome to Cars with 100. And on today's video, we have an excess leasing and we're gonna review 2022 BMW 750i X-Drive sedan. So we're gonna look at this car from the outside, go inside and check out the window sticker for some of the options that come on this car. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it. Let's start from the outside first. From the front, as you can see, these pronounced kidney grills are growing bigger and bigger soon. They're gonna be even bigger, but this is mix match uh, like or dislike, but uh, these are also adaptive grill, and so they open, they efficiently kind of combine the efficiency and performance, so that if they need air, they will open up these slats. We also have black access. This is an M Sport version. This is M2, kind of a seven series, if you can say that. We have nice sharp lights. As you can see, this is redesigned new for the 2021 and 22. We have done some of the changes that come on the inside, but mostly it's a subtle changes, like some of the trim and lights and grill, of course. And we have adaptive cruise control on this car that almost drives by itself. And there's a small camera on the uh, infotainment uh, dashboard that helps you out with this. So, camera up front. This car comes with a 360 view camera so you have the option to view the car which I will show you in the, uh, on the inside portion of this video. And we have some of the vents that are functional vents as you can see that that's good. As you would think BMW is a very efficient car and at the same time is a pure and ultimate driving machine however you want to call it. Nice sharp BMW LED lights here. No laser lights also option the laser lights for this car but this car does not come with it as we go around we have nice wheels here these are m sport specific rims so they measure 245 45 r 19 so these are 19 inch rims they are all same all around and we have a run flat cinturato p7 p0 uh, tires Pirelli tires, not P0, Cinturato P7 tires. And as we go around, we have this black accented hockey stick uh, kind of a design. This is an also mix match. Some people like it, some people dislike it, but it's a nice uh, differentiation of uh, kind of a side of the vehicle in terms of the design. We have the 360 cameras continue on the side mirrors as well. Very sharp looking car with this black axis, kind of blackout, no chrome except the wheels, rims, and some headlight accents. But overall, this is a more of a sporty car and sporty looking design. As we go around, we have a keyless access and keyless entry on the back doors as well. So we can lock it or unlock the car from the back doors. As you can see, this is uh, no longer called long version. This is not 750 IL. It's called 750 i but it still comes with the long wheel base as you can see because this is all uh standard now as we go around we have this trend continuing here on the uh, rear section of the uh, uh, bumper on the bottom section of the rear bumper and we have these nice lights as you can see these lights are 3d type of lights like every other bmw and they are of course led type of uh, look also these BMWs they had this design for years and a lot of cars have been changing this design back and forth we have the 750i bash here as you can see no more L logo on it and we have nice exhaust these exhausts as you can see they're inside here unlike Audi that pulls the exhaust towards the bottom facing bottom these are not connected they're still there but this square design makes it look a little bit more flush in terms of the quality of the design and you still have four pipes in there two on each side you have a nice in terms of the design you have this trim here kind of differentiates compared to the black accented trim and it looks a little bit different this is x drive 7 series this is all wheel drive 7 series most of them come with all wheel drive and it is mostly um, kind of safety feature as well as the assurance on the road that this car holds the road very well in terms of the V8 and 520 plus horsepower that this car provides. As we go around, 
we have the parking sensors as well on the bumper up front and in the rear and generally speaking this car is a very nice car if you want to be driven in or you want to drive this car you can see this car on the inside in order to enter this bmw 7 series we have this key fob which has not been redesigned for quite some time and this very familiar key fob for every bmw in the lineup as you can see you have here bmw logo for the lock button and you have an unlock trunk release and you have a panic button you have m sport uh, stripes on the side of the key because this is the m sport 7 series and it has some weight to it which is nice makes it feel luxurious and uh, nice at the same time in terms of uh, holding it in your hand but you can keep this key fob in your pocket you can lock or unlock this car with the sensor here on the door on each side back doors and front doors and you can unlock it with the sensor behind the door open the handle as well and just like this we'll enter this beautiful bmw 7 series as you can see this is a brown leather you can option this leather you can also option the uh, black leather or even lighter leather there's lots of options for this car this is a real wood material here as you can see this is a chrome type of brush chrome uh, kind of to break all these colors and you have a nice door opener handle on the inside as well you have the automatic up and down for all sides of the windows of course and you have some adjustments for the shades as well you have a memory seating for two passengers and two drivers as well you have on the passenger and on the driver side you have this memory seating which is really, really nice have the ventilated seating option here on each side of the uh, front passengers uh, or driver and you have option here for the boot pocket and not a big storage for the bottle holder uh, it is quite uh, medium size I would say for the bottle and you have the Harman Kardon sound system which is really good on this car it's a 3d sound system and when we jump inside before we jump inside we have nice Dorses here, M Sport Dorses. These are light up at night, so this is a very nice kind of a feature to make it a little bit more special, make it a little bit more sporty. And these seats are really nice seats. You can adjust in any way. You can also see the adjustment on the screen of the infotainment as well. And you have many different ways you can adjust the bolstering, the bottom section. You can move the this uh, for the for your leg support. And it's very comfortable to ride in this car generally you have the piping stitching you have a perforation which is very very plush and luxurious feel on this car and if you jump inside as you can see it's a sporty feel as well on this steering wheel as well and you have options here for the manipulation of this car's behavior so let me show you that in a little bit more detail very nice solid close on the door but you don't have to uh, close this door uh, strong and hard you can just close it softly and door will basically suction uh, fully closed. In terms of the quality for this interior is really good you really feel a uh, special being inside this car especially with this thick rimmed steering wheel that kind of adds sportiness to this 7 series luxury and it's really nice in terms of the general purpose of this car you can use this car as an everyday car and uh, it's quite large for some people but it is very comfortable uh, because of that so if we start the car foot on the brake just like this the V8 roars to life and as you can see here this is a full uh, digital dash uh, it was kind of a halfway previously but it was kind of with the uh, chrome accents now these accents uh, this is all digital and it looks uh, different at the same time and it looks nice especially with the sportiness that M badge there provides in terms of the quality of what this car is and uh, it combines uh, this is what i like that it combines luxury and sportiness so to speak about the steering wheel it is uh, not quite round it's kind of a squished on the sides so it makes it a little bit uh, 
it's not flat bottom in any way but it's a uh, sporty feeling this is very thick rimmed you have a 10 and 2 notches here and you know it's it feels uh, more sporty than luxury uh, you have some options here for the cruise control options adaptive cruise control options and you have options here on the right for the infotainment of course for the media you have a heated feature option button here as well and you have an m logo to accentuate the m sport uh, option for this uh, 7 series you have a nice pedals here uh, as you can see this is quite thick steering wheel um, in terms of the sporty aspects it's really good you have a nice engine start stop button there as you can see you can also turn off the automatic start stop on the traffic light and once you put your foot on a brake or you know once you start moving uh, take off the foot from the brake it will automatically start moving most of the cars have it now bmw 7 series and all other cars had this uh, in the beginning and now all the cars almost have this feature you have options here for the safety so all the uh, safety intelligent options here you can adjust them through this button which is very convenient you don't have to fiddle inside the infotainment it is convenient it is just one button and you can configure it the way you want it through this of course you can adjust the way you want it all the options or none of the options in terms of the safety or you can just turn it on or turn it off it is very very convenient you also have here vents you have this dark wood continuing on the dashboard and on the sides as well and you have this infotainment options here in terms of the infotainment options you have the sensor buttons here just like any other bmw but you also have a knob here for volume as well as the options for the climate control that are bottom on the bottom you have two knobs for the climate control dials and you have the screen here which is half touch display and half uh, you can adjust it like this and it's buttons as well so uh, most of it is actually touch there's no buttons like previously actually there's no buttons on it anymore but you have the buttons on the sides of it and you can adjust uh, climate control options from the infotainment as well you have storage options here that you can lock or open two ways you have one section that have has your cup holders here that you can adjust through this um, it is comfortably seated here you have a USB type A and you have a 12 volt power outlet as well and you have one more option here for the wireless charger which is very convenient in this car because this car comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto I think uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section but I think Android Auto also is standard on the 2022 BMWs so it's a nice feature this wireless charger is really convenient okay talking about this to talk about this middle section in terms of the transmission lever and the options that you have in terms of the adjustment for this car and what you can use uh, in terms of um, the adaptivity of this car into the uh, the way you drive this car so you have the adaptive which is actual it will adapt to your driving uh, ways and you have sport and once you go into sport you have the sport displays will change once you go into comfort uh, also your uh, you know the the way the car drives it will change and you have an eco pro and once again the display will change it will show you more of a blue efficient type of uh, feel to it but you still have the m logo there it is still an m sport car and you have the 360 camera here once we click on this um, we can actually adjust this camera uh, many different uh, features for this camera so um, it is quite convenient but if we go into different views so if i reverse the car just like this uh, we have the 360 here so once we go inside here we can see the we can see the actual car um, just like this and if it's automatic we can uh, let the car do its thing but we can adjust many different ways we can see and it's quite convenient i would say um, in terms of the adjustability i don't think that this car has 360 i think that's an extra option that you have to get for this car and we're gonna we're gonna check out the window sticker in a little bit uh, just to make sure 
and you can click park just to park the car and all of this is actually a very electronic nothing is manual uh, manually connected to this um, you know shift lever here and you have a parking brake here which is automatic and auto hold so this this is a, a same uh, feature as um, on SUV so when you stop on a traffic light you don't have to keep your foot on the brake it will hold the brake itself and that will make you less tired and you have this option here to control the infotainment you also have a touch of course um, and you have the voice controls that you can use and you also have this dial here just like previous BMWs from iDrive from back in the day from very um, first time the iDrive was implemented it was used only through this dial and you have the also touch sensor uh, control uh, here the screen kind of a uh, screen touch control here and you have some buttons here to adjust uh, different ways you can use this car some shortcut buttons as well in terms of the storage as you can see here you have two storage uh, actually yeah two two ways the storage opens um, and you have a USB type C here as you can see and you have one more 12 volt power outlet and you have some coin holder here I guess and you can close this like this or you can close it one way or open it another way so if somebody holds the on one side the hand uh, you can open it you don't have to bother uh, that individual your passenger you can open only one side and by the way the stitching is really good on this car very premium feeling everywhere you look everywhere you see this car has nice um, luxury features in terms of the design and it's a nice uh, metallic inlay inside uh, the wood here it's very premium feeling stitching here as well on this uh, black uh, leather as well and you have this headliner in the same color as the top of the dashboard and it's darker uh, look as well just uh, to kind of exaggerate the sportiness of this car you also have the glove box here unlike tesla which you have to go into infotainment you can just open this with that um, lever there and it's felt lined of course and it's quite deep i would say uh, for such a large car and we have the window sticker here so the window sticker as you can see you can pause at any second this video to see and you have some of the uh, standard and optional equipment on this car and total suggested retail price is hundred fourteen thousand hundred ten dollars uh, so in no means a cheap car and in no means uh, a regular car either 19 mile per gallon combined 17 in the city 24 on the highway and final assembly point for this car is Dingol, Dingolfing Germany correct me if I'm not pronouncing this uh, right uh, but uh, I'm doing my best so this car as you can see is in terms of the color is mineral white metallic and cognac napa leather so this is a high quality leather uh, i think it's the best leather bmw provides and it's a 22 car as well as you can see there um, you actually have a surround view 3d view on this car uh, which is uh, included actually in this in this car which is very good let's check out the back seats in order to enter the back seats, back doors, you have the lock or unlock there on the back doors as well. And as you can see, this is a little bit longer door and it uh, has some of the options in terms of the shades. So you can close the shade or open the shades here. And it's very convenient. You have this large light here. And if we jump inside, it's quite roomy. As you can see, before we jump inside, you have the M door sills here as well, which light up as well on the back doors. And you have this very large entrance here. So if we jump inside, close the door with the suction on the closed doors. And it's very interesting, very luxurious feeling. It is quite large in terms of the room here because this is a long uh, vehicle it uh, shows the proportions of the back seats 
uh, very well in terms of the design. You have a lot of legroom here and you sit comfortably up front and you sit comfortably in the back as well. I, I would say more comfortably in the back. If you, um, if you are driven in this car, it's very comfortable. You have the climate control options here, of course, two ways of climate control here, um, two zone climate control. And you have the option here for the 12 volt power outlet and two USB type C's. And it's quite convenient as well. You have storage here, quite deep. And you have two vents. You have this wood material here that continues on the back seats. Very, very good quality overall, I would say. And it feels very interesting as well in terms of the design, in terms of the quality. You're not gonna find any imperfection in this car. It is one of the best uh, in terms of the design and how it combines luxury and sport, uh, particularly in this car. And also we have here middle storage. So this storage, you can just unlock, press on it and the cup holders will open up. The two cup holders, nice engineering there. And we can close this. We also have shades here. As you can see, we can also open the panoramic sunroof here. And we have the shade here that opens up in the back as well or closes very conveniently with these two buttons and you have the side shades on the back windows as well on both sides for the convenience and privacy and now Let's check out the trunk space. In order to open the trunk, you have the button here and it's automatic or you can open it through the key fob as well. And you have the option here to close the trunk as well. You have the storage under the trunk. Not storage, more like a battery. No storage under this trunk, of course. But you have the options some of the storage cubbies you have a net kit here as well you can also drop down this middle section to put something longer inside and you have some hooks here as well so you see that you can tie down some of the groceries close the trunk like this now let's check out what's under the hood Today's review of this 2022 BMW 750i X Drive sedan. If you have any questions about this particular car, please leave a comment or any other car. Also, leave a comment if you want to get this car or any other car uh, in terms of the prices and you want to find out how much they cost right now, especially with the times right now. You can reach out to Access Leasing. Uh, I will put all the information in the description box. And uh, I'll see you next time. Stay loving cars.